All right, I had some interesting uh, comments and questions on my last couple of videos with these homemade rechargeable uh, cells that I uh, have built. And uh, I decided to do a little experiment here in my kitchen. I just got it here in my kitchen. One of the reasons for my projects is I'd like people to be able to replicate this without having a machine shop or a lab but able to do it in their you know their apartment or their house uh, I got involved in this when I had an injury and I was confined to the house and so I started doing these little projects but anyway the questions I had a couple of questions one was does the oxide on the uh, positive plate slough off when the uh, cell is deep discharged and it does there's the uh, uh, reddish brown oxide that's come off of that uh, cheap solder coil and these are oxides that are formed on uh, cheap solder which I believe is is probably way up there at 70 80 percent lead and 10 percent tin I got it at a dollar store and I'm trying to get some more of this stuff to see if uh, I was right about the ratio of, of metals but uh, uh, it was formed uh, the cell was formed with this um, Ammonium aluminum sulfate uh, alum. It's a pickling alum, and it's uh, very easy to come by. If you can't find it in the grocery store, you can find it online at Spice Supply Outfits. And then just distilled water. And the way the cell is formed is you put a voltage potential across this of at least 3 volts. And I've been using as high as 6 volts to get the cell to start forming. And then it forms up, um, chooses sides, and you have a uh, oxide form on one side, basically a, a dull lead on the other side, and uh, the electrons pile up, and then when you discharge it, they move across, and it forms a current, and uh, you can run things with it, but if it does slough off like that, so I thought today what I might do is take the cell apart and filter out the uh, deposit there, and then just uh, add some more distilled water to the cell and see what happens. But one of the questions I had was, what happens when you take these coils out? Uh, are they still charged? And uh, they are. you still got uh, electrons piled up on the one side. Now, I don't know what the self-discharge of this would be, but I set up this little experiment today to show something. Uh, I'm showing uh, nothing across the coils right now, and I've got my little penny oscillator here with the radio so you can hear it to show what happens. If I just add a couple of drops of water on this paper towel and I form the ionic bridge between these two uh, situations here, and they're not dissimilar metals, these are the same metals, but I've differentiated them using this uh, solution and then uh, electricity to form a potential, a dipole basically. So let me show you how that's going to work. And this is the voltmeter. It's not attached to the oscillator right now. I'm just going to drop a couple of drops of water on this paper towel with my finger. And this is distilled water. And I'm going to form that bridge between these two coils. There goes my voltage. And that's just the paper towel. Now these aren't immersed in anything. That's just the bridge between the two coils. Now I'll hook up the oscillator here. Show that there actually is power. It's going to take a, a little while for that capacitor to charge up. And there goes the oscillator. You hear it on the radio. You can't really see it very well. And that's the loaded voltage on that cell that I've now made with just the bridge of this distilled water on the paper towel. So I thought that was rather interesting, and those were good questions that people asked me about this uh, this cell and the dynamic of it. Um, it'd be a fascinating science uh, experiment for a, like a junior high or even maybe high school science class, and then to figure out the uh, chemical formulas and then do the math math on the thing to find out the you know the the amount of energy it takes to form the cell versus the amount of energy you get back and the efficiency of the cell. Um, done a lot of research in the last few days on lead acid batteries and the whole dynamic and the history and all that. But there isn't a whole lot out there on this electrolyte. 
this alum and distilled water electrolyte using lead. So anyway, I just thought I would share that with the people, and the specifically the people that asked the questions about the um, the deposits falling off of the uh, electrode on discharge. Thanks for watching.